Hello guys, Oscar Hotel 8, Sierra Tango November Julian here for Off Grid Ham Radio. Hey, today we're talking about Starlink, specifically the Starlink Mini. Now you're wondering what the heck's he talking about? We're normally talking about ham radio communications on this channel, but honestly, Starlink is just a different kind of radio and one that we've neglected on the channel for long enough. So we're going to set it up. We're going to do a speed test and I'm going to show you the kit I'm putting together. So stick with me and I'll tell you all about Starlink. All right, guys, let's go. You are listening to the emergency broadcast systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign Mary. Okay, I have the Starlink Mini aligned according to the Starlink app. The app told me to align to the north, which was a bit surprising, but okay, fair enough. We'll give it a go. Now, when we're looking at the Starlink tracking map, we can see that the Arctic isn't well covered at all. About 65 to 66 degrees north is about the best you're going to get with some stragglers higher up in the Arctic. Thankfully, SpaceX is putting more and more satellites up in orbit every week with their Falcon 9 launches. So it's reasonable to assume it's only going to get better from here. Now let's take a look at my Starlink kit. I'm using the Starlink Mini, which has a Wi-Fi and Ethernet router built in. Now other than the Starlink Mini, I also have an Anchor Prime 250 power bank, which I use to power it up. I also have the iPad M4 Pro, which I'm using for accessing the internet. I mean, it sounds absolutely insane, but there really isn't anything more to it. It's this simple. Here you can see two examples of my kits. The first one is the Microsoft Surface Go kit with the Starlink Mini. The second is the iPad M4 Pro with the Starlink Mini. Both of them use the Anchor Prime 250 power bank. Now, when I set up the Starlink Mini in the backyard for this first test, the Starlink app told me to make sure the Starlink dish was aligned properly. The app actually showed me which direction was best to point the Starlink Mini in. For my location, ironically, that was north. We talked about that already. But let's go ahead and see what type of speeds I got with this first test from the backyard. Keep in mind the tower, the trees, the house, there are many obstacles in the way. All right, let's go. During the first test, we had 92 megabits per second download speed and 11.9 megabits per second upload speed. Compared to the data rates we normally get over ham radio, whether HF, VHF, or SHF, this isn't bad at all. Now at these speeds, you could certainly watch your favorite YouTube channel full resolution without batting an eye. However, with the higher latency up here in the Arctic, I probably won't be doing any fast, action-packed gaming. However, this connection and its speed are sufficient for off-grid or grid-down communications. And before we head out to the field, let's take a moment to talk about why someone would actually want to deploy Starlink, either residential or the Starlink Mini with the roaming model. We often forget in amateur radio that not everyone has the same level of skills. Sometimes we need solutions which are as simple as possible to use, yet offer the maximum amount of capability. That's Starlink Mini. We can certainly create redundant, resilient networks over ham radio, especially with data modes, but not without an enormous investment in time to develop our skills and experience. So what we need is a rapid deployment tool which levels the playing field, not replacing ham radio, but augmenting its capabilities. At the moment, I believe the best tool to fulfill that goal is Starlink. Now, for this field test, I have enlisted the help of Mark, Mike Zero, India Alpha X-Ray. Please follow him if you don't follow him already. Mark and I will do a Starlink to Starlink, or I should say portable Starlink to portable Starlink test 
We're going to use Telegram to do a video chat between Mark and I, just to test the capabilities and quality of a Starlink to Starlink connection between us. The B-roll you've been watching up on the screen is actually my setup for this field test. I've got my fat bike, fat bike portable as usual. I've got my Starlink Mini. I've got the Anchor Prime 250 power bank, my iPad M4 Pro, and the PowerFilm 100 watt folding panel to keep everything topped up. Now the full test is 21 minutes long. I'm going to clip it down so that this video isn't extraordinarily long. For YouTube members and patrons, you'll be able to see the full video that I'll post separately. All right, let's move over to Mark. Why don't we start off by you telling me your call sign, your name, and uh, your blog, if it's okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. My call sign is Mike Zero India Alpha X, right? Yep. And you can find my blog at m0ix.com. And you can find me on all social media if you search my call sign, m0ix. Yep. I'm sure that uh, everyone has heard from you, but, you know, for those people who are watching for the first time, so, you yeah. know, it's good to just give you the shout out. Hey, why don't you tell me uh, the equipment you're using for this Starlink to Starlink QSO? So, well, the, the, it, I'm, I'm talking to you from my phone. Yep. One link. Uh, and as you can see behind me, I've got my Starlink Mini yep. uh, mounted on top of the, uh, the car. Yep. Just let me see if I can swap the camera over. I don't know if, yes, if there it is. Let's, uh, oh. Oh, there we go. Uh, and as you can see, I'm kind of in the middle of nowhere. Yep, now you're um, in vertical uh, orientation again. Oh, no. <laughs> no worries. Hard. Yep. Okay. Um, anyway, the Dunkery Beacon is over there. Yep. Which is our local um, SOTA. Anyway, back back to the Starlink. Yep. Um, as you can see, it's mounted on top of my car there. Yep. Um, on the roof rack. This is a camera mount. Yep. You can get these on eBay for about £10. Outstanding. That might be in your currency. Uh, really good value. You have to buy a little adapter which fits in there. This is a, a 3D printed one. Yep. Um, again, that's that's fairly cheap as well. Uh, and it's all being powered by my let me grab that um, anchor um, power bank. Yes. I think that's the same one. That you, I think that's the same one of you. Yeah, got. it's the same I've one. Got two, I've got two of those, and, and the other one obviously is in the laptop bag there. Um, so that I can swap between and charge the laptop. And my Starlink um, antenna fits in that bag as well, uh, along with the cables and, and uh, various other bits and pieces you need for it. Yep. Hold on a moment, I'm gonna... Oh, it's, it is doing, it's working. Great. Right, cool. Yeah. Hey, uh, I can't show you mine. You saw it yesterday, but I'm gonna use my camera yep. to explain this phone camera. So I've got my Starlink dish on the ground here, uh, just next to the uh, just next to the rocks. I'm standing here. Well, actually, I can pick this up. Give me a second. Yeah, okay. You can see that I'm. I hope you can see. I'm just yeah. on the sea again, and I've got my power film solar panel there and a USB C the 12 volt adapter. And yeah. let's see. If, and you can see I've got the Starlink just on the floor behind me. Yep. On the ground behind me. And naturally, I'm fat bike portable, <laughs> as I <laughs> normally am. And yeah, I have the same uh, anchor power bank powering up everything like you do. Wow, I need to put my other mitten on. Okay. Now, while Mark and I were testing the other day, I ran some speed tests on the Starlink app simultaneously. 177 megabits per second download, being 13.7 uploads. Latency was uh, a bit worse than at home at 93 milliseconds, but still the connection was pretty solid. On the second test, we reached 172 megabits per second download speed, 12.4 megabits per second upload speed. Latency was much better at 56 milliseconds. Now, I really believe at lower latitudes, the performance of Starlink is going to be much better than what I'm getting up here in the Arctic. But still, up here in the Arctic, this isn't bad at all. In fact, I'm quite impressed. Anyway, let's go ahead and continue that chit-chat with Mark. The, uh, yeah, fiber cable. 
uh, coming to my house at home, both directions, gigabit. Yeah. It's magnificent. I can upload my ridiculous 15 gig YouTube videos, you know, in a couple of minutes now, where before it was like hours. And um, yeah. I have to say, uh, this Starlink connection costs one euro more. <laughs> And uh, I don't have to worry about uh, the cables or, or yeah. anything. So I don't see the point anyone getting, for example, a DSL connection or something like that anymore. It's ridiculous. You know, I, I think the Starlink, not only for emergency communications, but for everyday life, the Starlink is uh, just going to get better and better. But yeah. I'm planning to, uh, maybe I'm going to buy a second set of hardware. And... Just run the Winlink gateway off of Starlink all the time. So yeah. even if the grid goes down, so what? You know, if there's an yeah. EMP that takes out satellites or things like that, I've got bigger problems than uh, <laughs> whether Winlink is working. <laughs> exactly. You know, that's right. Yeah. yeah so, um, but I think for, uh, for example, like this Hurricane Helene or the floods in Valencia, Spain, or things like that, which even here in Finland, a couple of weeks ago, we had a whole section of Finland that uh, power and communications were out, you know, because of a sudden storm, a cold, I don't know what it was, I don't remember. But um, we need this sort of thing, and I think it's time to start promoting it on the channel. It, I think it's just, it's just another tool, isn't it? It is. Um, and you can also use it for entertainment and things like that, so it, it's, it's perfect, really. So you have two different contracts, or one single contract? Yeah, there's, two, yeah, there's one, at, one for home. Yep. Um, which is uh, 75 pounds a month. Yep. Um, and that's for unlimited bandwidth. Um, hey, that's not you, bad. No, they, I think it's pretty good for what you get. Uh, and that's got a, 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 one of the old, a slightly older dish that steers itself towards the satellites. Yep. So as, as conditions change, it, it can point slightly different. Yep. Uh, and then this one, which is 50 pounds a month, um, but this one's limited to 50 gigs. Yeah, that's what I um, have. It's extra. 50 euros a month and limited to 50 yeah. gigs. And you can upgrade it. I think it's about 96 pounds to get unlimited. And that allows you to go where you want. The home one, you have to be at home for it. Otherwise, it will it'll probably cut you off. Oh. But this one, I can go anywhere in the UK and, and still use it. <laughs> um, and, and, and I put some pictures on, on, on uh, X yesterday. Yep. Uh, where, where we walked to the beach and I had it all in that backpack. Outstanding! Uh, oh, I saw that. Heavy, so you can take it with you, you know. Yeah. Outstanding. Hey, Mark, my hands are getting cold, man. So I should get packed okay. up and start to head home. As yeah. always, you know, you're really helpful. I don't say it enough, but I really appreciate you. You know, you're really hey, no helpful. No worries, mate. Yeah. No, that's cool. Thank you. Hey, that, that, I'll get out of here. This was fun. Yeah, yeah, it is, and we have to do it again sometime. Actually, maybe yeah, we can get Radio Prepper to get one of these things and. Uh, Start to <laughs> spread yeah, the love, yeah. you know. But I'm not trying to replace the ham radio, by the way. I'm just trying oh, to no, put no, another no, tool yeah. in the toolbox. Exactly, yeah. Mm. Exactly the same. I, I bring all. I mean, I've got all mine in the car. Yep. Um, it all comes with me when I go out, so that I can use whichever one I need to. Outstanding. Um, but, but the radio, apart from all the other uses, radio's fun as well. Yeah, it is. Um, so you know, I'm looking forward to the weather cleaning up, and I'll be going up that hill over there. You think um, you're going to get better weather again this year? One day we might. Um, <laughs> I could say I one day it'll be plus that. 20 here as well, but I, as I don't believe it. As soon as that day comes, I'll be going out um, because we, we get a few and far between at the moment. Fair enough. I think it's been a couple of weeks since we've seen sunshine here. Uh, but, but yeah, <laughs> well, um, all right, brother. Have a good one, and I'll talk to you again soon, yeah? Yeah, and you, mate. All the best. Thank you, Mark. Cheers. Take care. Ciao. All right, guys, as you can see, Starlink is an incredibly powerful tool. I've had a blast testing it for the last couple of weeks, and uh, I don't think I'm going to give it up anytime soon. Now, uh, if you didn't pay attention in the video or if I didn't make it clear enough, I'm using the Starlink Mini. I'm going to use that for the camper caravan, and I'm going to use that for the fat bike and my camping trips. And um, I'm going to get a second piece of hardware so that I can run the Winlink gateway off of Starlink all the time. I know there's this man in the middle, yeah, which people are concerned about, especially from a survival or preparedness perspective. But for 90% of the uh, scenarios that we can encounter, I think that that's a small risk. 
uh, to take in order to have an additional tool in the toolbox. Now, like I said in the video, I'm not trying to get rid of my ham radio communications. I'm simply trying to take another tool which can be deployed fast, which has an incredible amount of bandwidth and an incredible amount of throughput for the size and uh, weight of the package. I mean, it's about the size of a piece of paper. It's, it's, it's actually incredible. So what else can I say? It wasn't a sponsored video. I showed you what we could do. And I think anyone who's serious about emergency communications or grid down communications should definitely get on board with Starlink. Next week, we're going to drop a few more documents from the book. So look out for those. Those of you who have pre-ordered already, you don't have to pay anything more. It'll just be an additional document in that folder. Starlink is definitely one of those topics that we're going to talk about, and it's also going to be included in the book, as is Meshtastic. We need to cover that as well. Anyway, guys, thank you. Thank you all so much for supporting what I do. You'll find links for many of the things we talked about in the video in the description, as well as my book, which is coming out in the 24th of December. So look out for that. You can pre-order it already, but it'll also come out on Amazon later on. All right, guys, if you like what I'm doing, if you like the content I'm creating, please let me know by leaving me a comment, a thumbs up, or even a super thanks to let me know. And if it's not too much to ask, please share this video. This is the most important part. Please share this video with someone or someplace where other operators might enjoy it. All right, guys, rock and roll. Thanks for watching. Ciao.